up everybody it's your girl t green coming back at you with another video today is fantastic friday that is what i have named it because we need to round up this week or any other week feeling fantastic as we go into the weekend so today i just wanted to come to you and kind of recap my week um tell you about a few things that i actually found out about some of you may be interested in it and some of them you may, may not be um i'm just coming in from the gym today <laughs> Well, let's just say it wasn't as successful at the gym as I thought it or as I hoped it would be. Um, I had a couple days here and there where I had errands that actually took precedence over going to the gym. They were fairly important. And by the time I finished running the errands, I just was not up to going to the gym. But I did get in three days at the gym this week. So I guess on some level um, it was successful, but I was really shooting a little higher than that. At any rate... Um, I'm glad to be back at the gym. I just came off of vacation. So that was another challenge that I was facing is that my body was extremely relaxed and not really wanting to go to the gym. So, and then it was pretty cold. So I got up this morning, it was about 34 degrees and, um, coming home, it was about 43 degrees. So it's a little bit warmer, but it's not as warm, um, as, um, well, I'm not going to complain because I like the cool weather. I don't like the freezing weather, but I like the cool weather. weather. But um, it's, it, it's not as uh, warm as it was like a couple days ago. Um, anyway, getting right into it, I was watching a video on the Family O channel. Um, they're called the Family O. Um, they're an African-American family who has a daughter and they are vegan and one of the things that they mentioned in the video is they were out uh, going uh, attempting to go to the movies but they stopped to got to get dinner and they were um i can't remember the name of the restaurant but i will make sure that i post um the name of the restaurant somewhere up here so that um those of you who are in houston will be able to check it out and if you're not in houston and they actually have a chain of that restaurant in your city uh, you can go check out. It's called The Incredible Burger. And um, besides the Beyond Burger, this is another um, meat-like uh, product. Um, the, the wife did not care for the burger because it was too real for her. Um, she said it kind of made her a little, you know, feel a little sick a little bit um the food didn't make her sick it was just the idea that it was so meat like that she didn't care for it she said she enjoyed it she did enjoy it to some degree but it wasn't it wouldn't be something that she wanted to eat again and then the husband um he was very impressed with it he really enjoyed it he just thought it was a little too small and i believe it was 14 dollars. and i don't know if you get the burger and fries or what but i'm very interested in trying to locate this um this uh place it's not really a restaurant i think it's like a hub or something like that um i have to do a little bit more research to let you know but at, at any rate i'll put the name of it uh up below i mean um, up top so that you can check it out and then um the other thing that i found out was um the beyond me company actually uh I don't know if they partner with them or if they're just making their product available in more places. TGI Friday um, is selling the Beyond Burger. And the way that I know about this is that the Beyond Burger, the Beyond Meat Company posted an ad on Facebook. Either that or I got an email. I can't remember which. But anyway, I'm not a very good host, am I? <laughs> But anyway, I got information about uh, the Beyond Burger being available at TGI Friday. And the way that I found out is that they wanted you to enter a contest to see if you would win a gift certificate to be able to try the Beyond Burger at TGI Friday. So I thought that was very interesting that uh, TGI Friday is now carrying the Beyond Burger. So that's that's pretty awesome. And there's another location in, in uh, as soon as I confirm that location, because I'm not certain if that information that I received is accurate, but as soon as I confirm that it is accurate, um, I will come back and let you know what other restaurant here in Houston is actually selling the Beyond Burger. I know that they're selling the Beyond Burger at a couple of different places um, outside of the city of Houston. Uh, not really sure if it's in Texas or outside the state of Texas, but um, they're selling a Beyond Burger at some different restaurants. But I do know that TGI Friday here in Houston is one of the restaurants. So 
I'm curious to go check out what they've done with the Beyond Burger. If you have not checked out the Beyond Meat uh, YouTube channel, I always have a link to it in my description box. Um, I am a very, very strong advocate for the Beyond uh, meat products, most specifically the Beyond Burger, because I have really enjoyed incorporating that into my diet. So those are the couple of things that um, I found out about that I definitely want to try. Um, there were quite a few people at my job that started the uh, Whole30. Um, unfortunately, I was not able to participate because um, with me being a vegetarian on a plant-based diet, um, I would say, you know, about 65, maybe 75% of what I eat, you cannot have on the whole 30, but the whole 30, um, and from what I understand, there's also several books about the whole 30, but, uh, the whole 30 on their website, uh, they have a vegetarian, um, not really meal plan, but they have, they have a program, so to speak, but they said that because of the the diet because of the the items that you actually consume on the vegetarian diet even under the one that they've created um is high in carbs you can't really call it the whole 30 but they're trying to find ways to incorporate the plant-based uh community into you know different things like this so i applaud them for at least thinking about us and thinking about vegans um i'm not vegan but thinking about vegans because um not everybody who um, come up with these different meal plans or different diets or eating regimens or whatever uh, consider all um, the various uh, components of the spectrum, so to speak. So the other thing I thought about was um, with my filming schedule as I you know, kind of test some things out and figure out what I want to do. I'm really enjoying the series, the different series I have put into place. Um, they are really fun for me as I do my research to discover other channels, to make contact with other uh, content creators whom um, I have never been in contact with before or um, have not been subscribed to their channel to learn more about what they're doing and really enjoy watching their videos. I did have an issue at one point because while I was like the Friday before I started vacation, um, I started binge watching these videos. So you're talking anywhere from seven to 10 days. I'm just watching videos, um, every opportunity that I can, but I was having a problem because I put them in my watch later list and that's like a default list that's created for you on YouTube. And at some point, um, if I use that, uh, playlist, I was not able to comment or like the video. So if the video is playing, I'm just sitting there watching it. Nothing beneath the video or on the side of the video is showing up. It's giving me some type of 503 error. And it just, it was giving me the blues. It was really upsetting me because I was doing all this watching. I'm really trying to make comments on the videos and like the videos, not necessarily because um, that's what we're doing to try to support each other. But I really had things to say about what the what these videos were about and try to give my feedback. And I couldn't even do that. And so um, I'm a tech head. So I'm always looking for a way to kind of trick the system, so to speak, or trying to find um, ways around whatever the issue is. And so I kind of play with it, play with it, play with it. I, I, ch I um, looked at it on my laptop. I looked at it on my tablet. I looked at it on my phone. Um, and... I looked at it in Google Chrome. I looked at it in uh, Mozilla Firefox, Internet Explorer. I was all over the place trying to figure out a solution to this problem. I even Googled and um, also did a search on YouTube to try to figure out what the issue was. And a lot of it was talking about uh, um, different type of uh, extensions and things like that and, and uh software you know that you might need to download and, th and i'm like i just don't want to do all of it i just think it's simpler than that there has to be uh something other than that and so uh, a gentleman i can't remember what group it was because i'm in a lot of different groups um he said you know being that he was in it he would think that it would probably be something on my end and since i actually work the help desk at my job i can totally understand that because that's a lot of the problems that i run into at work is that uh it's not the software that we're using it's it's what's happening on the other end of the software on their end 
So I started thinking about that because when we moved, y'all know I've been complaining because we had UVerse and it was awesome. When we moved into our townhome, which was just across the street, we were no longer able to have UVerse. We had to downgrade the DSL and then it's like three megabits per second, which is really slow. So it takes me overnight sometimes to upload a 15 minute video. And I'm like, this is just ridiculous. So anyway, without getting into a rant about that, because that's still not resolved, um, what I decided to do was um, create another playlist, like something that I created myself, uh, create another playlist and then copy all the videos into that playlist and just try to use that playlist to watch the videos. And lo and behold, it worked like a charm. I have not had any issue whatsoever um, on the videos that I'm watching, being able to comment. It comes up right away. I can comment. I can like. If I'm watching a channel that I'm not subscribed to, I can actually subscribe. Because that was the other issue is that I was watching uh, uh, videos on channels that I wasn't subscribed to. And I really liked the content. And I wasn't able to subscribe. So um, anyway, I found the solution to that problem and so i'm really hoping that this is a long-term solution and that for some strange reason it wouldn't just um automatically just stop working again so i'll keep y'all posted and i'll let you know uh what happens so i did want to address one thing that has nothing to do with like technology or anything like that um i started thinking about you know my journey and there's going to be a few uh, videos that i post about my weight loss journey um, I did do a, a screenshot of my starting weight. I did do some body shots and things like that, but I'm not ready to post those. I really want to wait until, um, I've actually been going back to the gym and everything, um, for a little while before I post those, because what I want to do is use those screenshots and the screenshot of those body shots and the screenshot of my weight to compare to where I am when I actually do the video or, or more body shots and a screenshot of the, of the scale, because I don't just want to put that out there. I actually want to show you like, okay, this is where I was. And guess what? In a week or two, you know, I've made this amount of progress and this is what I've been doing and things like that. So that's what I want to do. And, um, so I had, I had somebody ask me a question one time, you know, I'm vegetarian. I'm actually lacto-vegetarian because I don't want to give up dairy. It's, it's a personal choice not to give up dairy. I'm allergic to eggs, so I don't eat eggs, but I do consume yogurt and cheese and butter, you know, stuff like that. I don't drink cow's milk because I'm lactose intolerant. So I do nut milks and I don't do soy milk because I have <laughs> menopause. I guess y'all said, God, dog, you got all kinds of stuff going on. But I ha I'm in menopause, so I can't, I do tofu, but I can't do like large amounts of soy because it'll mess mess with my estrogen level but the question was will I ever go vegan and to be perfectly honest I can on I can say right now at this stage in my life the answer would be absolutely not and the reason being is is what I just talked about the fact that I do love dairy and um I know that I say I'm lactose intolerant and I can't do cow's milk, but when I do certain types of cheeses, I don't have the problems as if I was to drink a glass of milk. When I do yogurt, I, I'm also doing, I don't just do yogurt, uh, like regular yogurt or Greek yogurt. I do yogurt that's made with like coconut milk and, you know, stuff like that. So I do a variation of yogurt. Um, and most people who are lactose intolerant know that when you do cheese, if you do cheese, the white cheese, and it's a little bit firmer, it's not processed the same way as like the softer cheeses or the yellow cheeses um, are. So they're a lot easier on your system. And so I love stinky cheese. And a lot of the stinky cheeses, like even the blue cheese and stuff like that, is a little bit firmer and it's processed differently than um, like the cheddar cheese or the sharp cheddar or whatever. And then I'm a huge fan of um, Swiss cheese and um, mozzarella, you know, things like that. So um, I can do a dairy and it's not extremely harsh on my system. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. I just wanted to come and just kind of chit chat with you. It's not a vlog. It's, you know, Fantastic Friday. We are chiming in to kind of wrap up the week and let you know how things went. I did have some challenges this week. And I know I hit a point where I just I, I just want to just lay my face in my hands and just not cry. But, you know, I shook my head a lot this week because I had different situations coming at me and I didn't understand why these things were happening. It wasn't things 
from the perspective of, you know, bad things for me, it was other people dealing with their own stuff. And so they were not able to balance dealing with whatever they were going through and interacting with me at the same time. So a lot of what they were dealing with was spillover. And then I couldn't figure out why they were reacting to me that way because I hadn't done anything. So it was a lot of that going on this week. And I guess, you know, with this in this day and age, people are going through so much. And I just try to be mindful of the fact that just like I have different stressors and I have different things going on in my life, people have things like that going on in their life. So I try very, very hard not to take things personally. Sometimes it's, I'm not always successful in not taking things personally. And I am impacted in a way that it, it shows in my face and I actually feel it. I feel, you know, my blood pressure going up and things like that. But for the most part, I think I do pretty good at managing um the different stress stressors that i experience in my life so anyway y'all tell me what you think about um makeover monday which is when we have our um the feature of the channels that do like diys and stuff like that and then um i don't i i did post something but i don't have a um I give myself Tuesday and Thursday to kind of do my research and, and, you know, film and edit and all that kind of stuff. Even if there's a video that's posted, it may be some extra content that I have, but I don't have like a, a specific topic for Tuesday and Thursday because I'm trying to use that time to do the research that I need to and to um, film and edit and, you know, pull the, the different pieces that I need to make my video complete. And then Wednesday is Wellness Wednesday, and I'm trying to um, feature uh, channels and uh, provide content that speak to uh, the different the different uh, areas of health and wellness. Um, and then Friday is going to be Fantastic Friday, which will be a video or something like this where we're just kind of chit chat and talk. And I might actually just do a vlog. It depends on what I have going on for the week. And then Saturday is actually I'm I'm looking at my notes. Um, Saturday is actually going to be content that's geared towards featuring artists, whether it's uh, singers, dancers, uh, poets, uh, writers, uh, musicians, vocalists, whatever. It's, if you are an artist in any way, shape, form, or, uh, shape, form, or fashion, regardless of what genre it's in, um, Saturday is the day that I want to feature th that type of content and try to support those channels. And then Sunday, we move shout out, uh, YouTuber shout out from Tuesday to Sunday. And so um, on Sunday now is when you'll actually get the YouTuber shout out. And I think that there are, there are so many content creators out there and there's so many different um, videos and things like that that I, I will never run out of uh, channels to feature on shout out uh, YouTuber shout out uh, Sunday. So anyway, that's going to do it for me. Um, I don't really have anything else, but leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the filming schedule. Let me know what you think about the ideas to bring you new content. Um, also, if you have an idea about something that you want to see on this channel, please leave that information uh, below in a comment. Um, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel if you're not already. Um, make sure that you uh, always give me feedback so I know that um, this channel is headed in the direction that you would like to see it go. So anyway, that's going to do it for me. Um, and as always, love yourself, love somebody else. And until next time, y'all take care. Bye.